Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the best hoodies that the industry has to offer. And while all of them are very good in their own respective ways, some of them just do certain things better than the other. Now, before we continue, I did want to preface today's video that this is strictly based off of opinion. We all have different preferences in relation to what we look for in basic blank hoodies. The objective of today's video is to kind of present to you all of these differences between each brand and help you decide which hoodie brand is best for you. Now, with that being said, all of the links to these hoodies will be provided in the description down below for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to my channel with notifications on if you enjoy this style of content. And without further ado, let's go and jump right into the first hoodie brand. Beginning with everybody's favorite mainstream hipster store, we have a submission from Urban Outfitters. This is known as their standard cloth issue hoodie. Priced at $69, this is going to rank among the middle to high tier of all of these hoodies. It is a raglan style hoodie that does run somewhat oversized. What's nice is that it offers a level of customization that no other hoodie in today's video does offer in the toggles being able to be cinched at the waist. It is a light brush fleece and due to the fact that it is somewhat oversized, use case scenario would be to wear it on its own in a region that doesn't require a really thick hoodie. If I were to give it a score out of 10 based on what I like in hoodies, I'd give it a solid seven. Moving on, this wouldn't be a complete hoodie video without mentioning Fear of God Essentials. Priced at $100, this is going to be on the upper tier of simple basic hoodies. Comprised of a brushed fleece, these hoodies do fit oversized and are very, very soft. But yeah, overall, how I feel about Essentials hoodies is no secret as I do reviews time and time again here on the channel. And I will have some videos linked down below if you want more detail, but yes, they are very, very good. To give the hoodies a score out of 10, I give Fear God Essentials hoodies a solid eight out of 10. The streets are currently saturated with Fear of God Essentials. I feel like everybody's wearing it nowadays. It ranks just a tiny bit lower than these next hoodies. And the hoodies that I'm referring to are the minimal everyday hoodies. The minimal everyday hoodies are going to feature everything that the Fear of God Essentials hoodies feature except for the branding. You're going to get that same great fit that you get from the Fear of God Essentials hoodies, same garment weight, same super soft brush fleece, but you're going to pay around 50 to 60 bucks. The lower end of that if you use code Paul10 at checkout. Now, before you go and say that I'm being biased, yes, I do rate these ones a bit higher because again, you get the same great fit, softness, and quality, but you get way more colors and less branding. Less branding means more modular. What I mean by that is that it can be worn with conflicting brands, if that makes sense. And so for that reason, I do find the everyday collection to be just a little bit more wearable. So that's why I give these an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have hoodies that come from Rue Porter. And man, oh man, when putting this list together. These hoodies here were very, very highly, highly requested to make it into today's video from the Locust Wild Honey Facebook group. And I got to be honest, these hoodies did not disappoint. This is my first time of purchasing from Rue Porter. These hoodies are 100% French Terry and is comprised of 40 ounces of cotton. That's a two and a half pound hoodie, which means it's very heavy. On the flip side, you do get what you pay for because these do retail at $80. To rate this hoodie out of 10, I give it a strong 8.75. Moving away from brand new hoodies and into older ones, I did want to make the vintage Russell hoodie a part of today's video. If you guys have been following me for quite some time, then you know I absolutely gush over these hoodies. They range from anywhere between $4 because you can thrift them. And at times, if you purchase from a reseller who curates them, they can range all the way up to 150 bucks. Now, a few things that I personally look for and our preference of mine is Russell hoodie blanks that are made in Mexico. 
I just personally love the fact that they're 50% cotton, 50% polyester, giving it a bit of structure and stretchability while maintaining a good level of insulation and overall comfort. When shopping for vintage Russell hoodies, I go ahead and take a large to get an oversized fit, but have the option of layering. Vintage Russell hoodies are just awesome. And for that reason, I do have to give them a score of a 9.5 out of 10, ranking them among my absolute favorite hoodies. Moving on to the next hoodie. This one is from H&M. Now, I did want to let you know that there are two different tiers of basic plain hoodies from H&M. They have their standard one, which does retail at about $20. And then the one that I ultimately purchased that was $35. The reason why I did go ahead and opt against getting the $20 one is just because I thought it wasn't really worth your time as the quality of it was subpar to put it kindly. But the $35 one is pretty solid to say the least. It is known as the H&M number three essentials line. I did go ahead and take my true to size size, which is a size medium and do find that it fits slightly oversized for a traditional fitting hoodie. It is a pretty thin brushed fleece, so I probably wouldn't say that it is solid for being worn as a standalone hoodie. This one's pretty much made to be layered with. I rate this hoodie a 7 out of 10. Not bad, but not really great at anything in particular. On the topic of traditional fitting hoodies, this one is from Uniqlo. Yes, Uniqlo. Anyways, as I mentioned, it is a traditional fitting hoodie. It's like a standard style of hoodie comprised of a very soft brush fleece. What this means, it's going to be pretty elastic and very breathable. And again, this is a style of hoodie that can be worn on its own. It won't necessarily keep you super warm, but will be cozy and is a solid option if you're going to go ahead and layer. And priced at $49.90, this is going to be on the tier of slightly below the medium prices for this video but with that price point you're getting a lot more i gotta give this hoodie a solid score of an eight next up we have the yeezy gap double layer hoodie i had to make this a part of today's video because i just don't think it gets any better than what is deemed the perfect hoodie is it perfect not necessarily but of course this is a subjective matter now, if you're looking for a hoodie that's going to be worn on its own, can keep you warm, gives you a boxier fit that is cropped, and you don't mind spending about 120 bucks for it, it can be the perfect hoodie. But the sizing is a little bit confusing as I have to wear a size large in these hoodies. And in addition to that, because they are on the boxier side and are double layer, aren't exactly my first pick when it comes to layering. As I mentioned, they do keep you very warm. They're very heavy and comprised of two thick layers, making them perfect to be worn alone. Of course, this style of hoodie, the cut of it at least, is very, very trendy. And so for those reasons, I have to rate this hoodie a solid 8.75 out of 10. The Yeezy Perfect Hoodie is very awesome in my humble opinion. And right now, because the Yeezy Gap situation kind of exploded, you can find these on Grailed for a pretty solid price point, right around $100. Now, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the Yeezy Gap Perfect Hoodie, Look no further than from the folks at Minimal. Priced at $50 to $60, again, using code Paul10, you can get yourself a double layer hoodie that fits exactly the same in a much wider variety of colors. Minimal does offer all of the same colors that Easy Gap produces, and then some which does include pigment dyed vintage washed variants of this hoodie. Here I am wearing a size medium and find that they do fit true to size. Full reference I'm 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds. Hopefully I mentioned that already. But yes, you do get that double layer element. Given the fact that you're getting more colors, the ability to go ahead and layer and at a fraction of the price, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. And now moving on to the final hoodie of today's video. This one comes from Amber Crombie and Fitch. Amber Crombie and Fitch has been somewhat of a staple here on the channel because their new rebranding has been just awesome. So as a product of that, I've been vlogging in their stores as they have been releasing new collections and they've been doing a really good job. And the theme does ring true through their hoodies as priced at $60 and offered in a myriad of really nice colors 
colors. These are a fantastic option as a basic blank hoodie to add to your wardrobe. They are comprised of a brushed fleece, slightly on the thinner side and fit pretty relaxed. A few downsides to this hoodie is that I do anticipate this fabric not aging too, too well, but overall a very, very solid option from Abercrombie & Fitch. I rate these an 8.25 out of 10. So to go ahead and wrap things up, as I mentioned, everybody has different preferences and use cases with regard to hoodies. Some people prioritize the thickness, others will prioritize how it fits, the ability to layer or price point. Out of the bunch, out of all the hoodies in today's video, my personal favorite hoodie is the vintage Russell hoodie. With that being said, let me know in the comment section down below which hoodies you personally go to. Did I miss any? Yo, what is good guys? Pardon the quick little interruption. I freaked up and I forgot to mention LA Apparel in today's video. It's one of my very favorite hoodies, which is why I'm so angry with myself that I forgot to add this portion. But LA Apparel definitely ranks among my very, very favorite hoodies. They are comprised of a 14 ounce cotton, which is a fantastic weight to complement the super soft brush fleece. These hoodies are priced at 78 bucks, putting them at just a little bit above the average price of a standard hoodie. And I give them a score of nine out of 10 in terms of how good they are. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to let me know by liking today's video and subscribing to my channel with notifications on. As always, I remain thankful to have the privilege of making content for kind people like yourself. That's going to do it for today's video. I'll catch you in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.